Back to the channel, my name is Saad and you're watching the Arsenal Transfer Show on the Football Corner. Let's get into the latest rumours and transfer news revolving around Arsenal. <laughs> to like share and subscribe hit the bell notification so you're notified every time i make a video now let's get into these transfer stories first story is kai havertz kai havertz linked to the club and this could be an interesting one um for me personally i wouldn't want him at the club uh i feel like his wage demands would probably be way too much he's currently on 300k a week over at chelsea and yeah for me he's gonna be a bench player i don't think he gets in ahead of anybody in our front line at the moment doesn't get in front of martinelli doesn't get in front of Saka certainly and gabriel jesus he doesn't even get in front of him in the front line i don't think he gets in front of anyone now the report is as follows arsenal have entered the race to sign kai havertz the player is on the market as he won't extend his contract at chelsea beyond 2025 and also another report says sources close to the deal feel that chelsea could be flexible with their initial 75 million pound asking price for kai havertz which is considered too high by arsenal havertz is keen on a move and that could help arsenal in the negotiation now that's reported by Fabrizio Romano. Now for me, listen, 75 million firstly, that's crazy. Crazy. 75 million for Kai Havertz when he didn't even perform well last season. Let's face it, he did not perform well last season. Now, 75 million for Kai Havertz is crazy. So for me, listen, I'd stay away from this deal. It stinks. It stinks of overpaying for a player that's not worth it. Um, sticking him on wages that are not worth it not worth the money and for me just a really bad deal overall um i wouldn't take him and i'll be looking elsewhere looking for other players other attacking players other attacking options there are different options there's musa diaby over at Bayer leverkusen we could go in for much cheaper it probably only cost us like 30 mil 35 something like that so there's definitely other options that we can go in for so i don't understand why we're trying to knock at chelsea's door to try and get kai havertz from them it just it really seems like a waste of money now moving on to the second deal of the day which is chukwesi linked to the club now chukwesi has been linked to the club previously and it looks like we're back in for him uh stepped up at interest again and yeah listen um as you can see on the screen, Arsenal back in for the La Liga winger. According to Football Fancast, Arsenal are considering a move for Villarreal winger Samuel Chukwesi, 24 this summer. Arsenal reportedly ready to complete this, compete for the signing of Villarreal forward Samuel Chukwesi this summer. The Gunners nearly signed Chukwesi back in 2015 when he was still 17-18. However, Arsenal could not reach an agreement with his side back then. Could the Gunners complete an eight-year transfer mission this summer? We'll see what happens with this one. Um, for me, listen, Chukwesi, very good player um, for Villarreal. Last season, he was very good in the Europa League. Um, this season, again, um, had had good performances. So we've seen him in the, in the Champions League. Um, so yeah they've, they've had good performances this season and for me Chikwesi that's an interesting player that's a player that I could possibly see the positives in getting him and bringing him to the club uh, he's got um, really fast a really massive burst of pace um, really quick getting him behind the line so um, definitely a good player to come on uh, maybe in the 60th 70th minute once all the other the defense the defense of the opponents are tired and he could just be putting balls over and he's just chasing him chasing him chasing him because he is rapid and for me listen i go and get him if we can get him for a cheap price maybe a 30 million 35 million i'll get him i'll get him because he'd be a good player he's only 24 still very young so for me i get to crazy bring him to the club definitely want to look out for let's see how this transfer goes forward in the future now moving on to transfer number three Moises Caicedo Arsenal have a bid prepared for Caicedo Simon Phillips has claimed that a source has informed that Arsenal have a bid prepared for Moises Caicedo with an 80 million offer being touted 
He goes on to say that the Gunners want to sign Caicedo on top of the Declan Rice and are financially in a terrific place to pull both deals off. The Gunners are serious this summer and are expected to spend 200 million plus as the club looks to challenge for the highest honours next season. Now, from what we can see here, listen, Arsenal trying to go in for this deal, trying to get it done ASAP. We're trying to get the Declan Rice deal done ASAP and we're also trying to step up our efforts with the Moises Caicedo deal trying to get this deal done as well trying to get that sorted um, and over the line so we can have both our midfielders ready for the preseason so they're not uh, coming in last minute at the end of the transfer window um, for me this is great we need to get our business done as early as possible I've always loved getting our business done as early as possible so our players are ready to come into that um, pre-season and are ready to really get their game on and um, try and connect with the team see what their best position is see what they need to improve on and yeah just to, just to make themselves more comfortable with the layout of the squad now for me I'm 100% down with getting these deals done ASAP and yeah let's see how it goes uh, hopefully within the next week we should have two deals done the Declan Rice deal and the Moises Caicedo deal. Hopefully they're both done within the next week and we should be seeing them unveiled within the next week or two. As we know as well, the Arsenal players do come back from holidays on the 1st of July. So that is confirmed that the players do come back from the holidays on the 1st of July. And we are looking at getting the Arsenal tour set off on the 20th, I believe. I believe it's 20th of July um, is when we're setting off to do our USA tour. So we need to make sure that our, our signings are done before that. So they're done, ready. They've done their holidays. They're signed for us and they're down with the preseason training and they're getting sorted. Now moving into story number four. And this is a player that reportedly Arsenal are in for. Um, Arda Gula. Um, which is a player from Fenerbahce and yeah it looks like um, Arsenal target Arda Gula is has an active release clause many top clubs are trying to convince the player to join them uh, that's coming straight from Fabrizio Romano and yeah listen um, another another young prospect uh, player and yeah from what I can see he was he's played 35 games this season and um, yeah out of those 35 games he's got six goals and seven assists now he plays in the attacking midfield um, so this could be an attacking midfielder that we could bring in listen it's a cheap price and yeah listen he's still very young very young at the moment 18 years old so this could be a very he's a very young prospect and listen i'm all down to bring in young prospects like this if the, if, if we can get him for 17.5 million euros and if he's touted to be a really good player then listen i'm down to bring in these players take a little gamble here and there but um as long as we get our main signings done that's my main priority is getting those main signings done dusted in the door and then um and then we can go in for these players and get these uh, get these younger players, see what we can do, experiment with these other players that are coming in. But yeah, um, for me, listen, if they wanted to bring him in, as long as we've got our big targets in um, and we got our we got our positions all sorted out, then I wouldn't mind going for a guy like Arda Gula. Um, I think I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind going for a player of his caliber, just a young player. Uh, ready to come in prove themselves listen Martinelli was exactly like this um, a young player come in fresh 18 year old so listen I'm fully up for it. yeah let's ho let's hope that let's hope that if he does come in um, we can possibly see um, some good performances from him something that can show a little promise and yeah hopefully we can get him integrated into the team now, speaking of another player who is a young player at Arsenal, Ethan Nwaneri. Um, now, listen, looks like he's gone. Um, doesn't really want to sign a new contract. Um, it's not looking positive at the moment. Um, from what reports are saying at the moment, Ethan Nwaneri's um, schoolboy registration ends this month. And there are serious doubts he will sign a new deal at Arsenal. Chelsea are competing with Manchester City in particular 
for his services while Manchester United are also in the hunt so listen a lot of big clubs after this guy um, I hope we can sign him up to a new contract possibly um, a professional contract but normally these school board registration things once they once they finish they literally get to pick and choose who they can go who they go to so um they can either go to man city who can offer him a contract they can go to chelsea who can offer him a contract or he can go to united or he can stay at arsenal when they offer him a contract but yeah it looks like he's going to be getting offered a lot of contracts um they see a lot in him at the moment for us obviously he came on that one time played the last minutes of the, of the game so uh, yeah for me listen um if he signs he signs with us if he doesn't Oh well man, uh, there's nothing really we can do But I'm hoping that he can sign So we can keep these young players Because obviously they see something in him So obviously he's wanted by all of these clubs So there must be something that he's doing right But yeah, for me guys I'll be happy if he signs But I'm not going to be mad upset if he goes Now that's it for today Thank you very much for tuning in To the Arsenal Transfer Show on the Football Corner like i said before if you're new to the channel make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe make sure to click the bell notification so you're notified every time i make a video check out my social medias down below make sure to follow them up as well and make sure to comment down below leave some comments tell me what your thoughts are on the transfer window so far uh, it's just opened at the moment but we've got um we had some stuff happening before it opened a lot of news going around. Declan Rice deal should be done soon. Uh, Moises Caicedo is ramping up as well. All of these stories, they're all just every. It's just there's a lot happening right now with, in regards to Arsenal in this transfer window. So a lot to look forward to. We still got a defender to go, and we've still got a um, attacker to go. So right now we're just focused mainly on the midfield. Uh, you're seeing stories about. There are some stories about some attackers, but right now it's mostly the midfield that we're dealing with so guys i can't wait to see what happens in the near future thank you very much for tuning in today um make sure to check me out in the next video i love you all come on you gunners see you later bye